time to pull your chair a little bit closer to the screen. Got something kind of important here. It's the governor on this year, McCormick Deering, made by International Harvester. And, and, and you will have them that has the International nameplate and also the McCormick Deering nameplate. The, this is equally, uh, the information works on both of them. They're, they are identical. The governor system, let's start right here and work our way backwards in describing it. And I do have a side cover that has the pin, the locating pin broke off. And we will do a machining segment and replace that pin and at that time we will talk about this type adjustment but for the time being the governor system consists and this is where that this is what differentiates the difference between a throttle governor engine and a hit and miss engine in this instance the the way this works and it's this this mechanism goes all the way through, and, and there's a flapper down in there, a, a little little baffle deal. And you will find these where the head is rusted so bad in there that when that does close, it it, it, it don't close. It still gets air all the way around it. That That is problem. You can re-sleeve this and set that right. Also, if you have a input shaft hole that is worn out, you can put a bushing in this end and the other end also. It can be it can be bushed back to original. And it needs to be. If it sucks air in here, you're not going to have very much success with your engine. This thing here, it's a the original one was a pop metal construction and uh, it's got a it's got a little ear down there that stops there and it's got an ear up here. We will talk about how to set this up the adjustment when we assemble the bailing war engine. We will we we will set this up and we'll talk about that adjustment there at that time. But the way this thing works, this this mechanism here would be here. And when uh, the weights on the governor goes out, this goes up and down, up and down like that. And it closes, it closes the baffle in there when it works. Also, a little thing of interest is the the original ones that had this little little uh, protrusion casted on the outside here. That is in alignment with the uh, baffle inside the housing so you will always be aware of where the baffle is at when that closes that'll be straight across when it's open it'll be up like that and that's all they are to that except i may bring it to your attention there are two holes in this mechanism and this spring right here you can replace that spring take it off and put it back on without taking this from the engine it just spirals right around there and it goes right up on there really easy and you can set it to be more tension or less tension. And and some this whole system kind of works in unison. And sometimes you will need more tension here to compensate for um you know roughness on on the shaft and stuff just maybe spraying the the way things works you you will need to set this in the stronger position or the weaker position and that's pretty much all they are there and this does go in here like this this part goes down it would have a special washer on there to align it either on the inside or outside or both and then a cotter in there a cotter should be there and I will show you a couple this is just a couple examples that I removed from this this batch of engines here and I was just cleaning these parts up and it just seemed like time to kind of explain this and and this is one extreme some this was on the engine that most likely had been running and 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 this one this is pretty much factory shape and you can see how much that was bent and you have to question you know why did the person bend it like that but there must have been a reason and i would say it probably made the engine run correctly at the time also this one they, the, the, whoever the mechanic straightened it out and instead of bending it 
It put it in a straight position. And there are several reasons that you will do things like that. And most of the time, if you had a fixed, the reason that you did that, then you wouldn't have had to do that. And I'll show you an example. But let's set this aside. This is just a show and tell. Just kind of to clear off the beach here so that we can actually get down and do something. The uh, Another thing that I might, uh, oh, just kind of these springs here, just a, a good show and tell example is the length, the length of the, the governor springs themselves. That's fine, Dave. This seems to be a short one, just looking at them kind of without doing no measurement. And this would be a long one right here. But you can see how much difference. Uh, well, let's line them up here. That's a good three-quarters of an inch difference. And, and you will find both. Even, uh, that one's, uh, well, that's about the same. That's a good power right there. Yeah, I'll clean that up. But, but uh, you will find the difference in the length. And... You, you can get by with, I'm going to say having a, if, just to get an engine running, you actually can use the two different lengths. And, and at that time, you would have a different adjustment on this, this screw that goes in here, this adjustment arm. And this goes here, like so. And you adjust that in to the position where that you end up. Here's a completed, this is a completed assembled governor mechanism that goes back on the flywheel part. And we'll, we'll talk about this a little bit more. But this one actually has the really long springs on there. There's no tension on them. And, and you can see that one's about an inch longer. And, and, and then they don't have very many threads up here. So if you had a, if you had a shorter spring, you would just have more threads here. The governor weights, there's, there's nothing, there's nothing uh, difference. All of them will be the same. All of the governor weights are the same. I will show you something that uh, the three horsepower, the governor weight on the three horsepower, it's physically larger. The three horsepower is, so you cannot get them, uh, you, you can't get them uh, confused. And this, this, this part right here, the, the arm that goes back on the flywheel part, I'm, I'm showing you this out here in the, uh, before we get it on the engine so that we can actually see the whole thing. But this that's the way that goes on there. And this right here is a, this is an adjustment in addition to the governor weight spring setting. When, when you set the engine up and you, when you set the engine up, and you adjust these springs, and the the adjustment on this. When you adjust all of this, then that that is the RPM that that engine will run at. It will maintain that. Okay, the very early models, the very very early ones, had this on the engine, and you actually could could come back here and and make some little fine adjustments. It was a good thing, but they did discontinue this.